Okay. What do we have here? This is definitely a cart full of rough plants. Well, you know, I have that uh, rock section that I've been trying to clean up. Uh, my 50 years of hoarding. Um, anyway, uh, in order to get that cleaned up, we needed to take some of these plants out. So, uh, okay, now that I got it on the flatbed, uh, you could see a little bit better what we got to work with. I think the most challenging one will be this. This wire basket had the rocks and then the plant grew. Yes, it, the, the root grew through the bottom part of this. Well, it used to be an egg basket. I think these are probably 30, 40 years old. Uh, my uncle was in the egg business and uh, when they switched over from these wire baskets, uh, we got them and they've been kind of storage for uh, rocks and things. Well, this one, the plant came through and now it's stuck. So I think this one will be the most challenging and others not so. Anyway, so this is more or less the before shot and when I get done, I'll show you the after. Okay, so I got everything done except this one. The one that is stuck in the wire. So this is going to require me changing the blade in my reciprocating saw to cut through metal. And I think that's the way I'm going to do it. So anyway, I'll get busy and uh, I'll show you the results. Um, I could have shot a little bit more in between, except my grandkids are here. And actually, you know, they live in the city and they're so happy to be living in the country, they tend to be really loud. So even with the doors closed, you could hear them yelling. So that's why I have to kind of skip uh, part of it. Anyway, I love my kids, so that's not a complaint. That's just explaining why there's uh, no footage in between. closer I wonder if it's all worth it oh this is worse than uh, embedded wire I think well, anyway too late to give up now so I'll keep working okay these two that's running parallel, it goes all the way through and comes out here, right here, so that uh, it's impossible to remove that. It's embedded inside. So that part will stay and I'm going to have to figure out how to cut these out uh, and then just leave those metal pieces inside. Looks like it's coming out. It's out. One more. Here we come. It's out. So now, we don't have to worry about that being embedded. So rest of it is what to do. Okay, now all I have to do is put it in some sort of container. Okay, looking from uh, where we are now, it looks like I should have centered a little bit more, but it was all because of the root. 
To the right, there was all this real healthy root hair. I did trim, but uh, this is the best I can do. Now, in the future, when I actually style this thing, first we're going to get it to recover. So probably a three, four, five year project before we get to a finish. But uh, this is the kind of stuff that happens when you're trying to clean up an area. It was either just throw it away or make this a little chapter. Okay, so let me go ahead and wrap this up. So these mostly they were crepe myrtles. Almost everything on the left is the crepe myrtle and the big one over here is a pomegranate. The pomegranate, there's a mother plant and I think this came out as from a seed and there's a few little ones but everything else that is slick like that, that is crepe myrtle. Oh, maybe more than 10 years ago, there used to be a big crepe myrtle there that I planted in the ground and I didn't want it anymore, so I took it out. Well, these came out of the roots that was left. So technically, these would be considered a root cutting, I guess. Anyway, um, I didn't have need for that space, so I just let it go. And then now that I've wanted it as a uh, display area for my rock collection, uh, they needed to come out. It was a lot of work. <laughs> Actually, it was a lot of work for my family who thought that it would be a snap. Um, they were complaining about sober bodies. Let me give you a little thought about Yamadori. Yamadori is Japanese for digging from the mountain. And I'm totally against it. People go up there, um, legally you could, you could get a permit, uh, but other times they just do it. And to me, most of them fail anyway. When you go from 6,000 feet to uh, sea level, it's too much of an acclimation problem. Plus, knowing the proper technique is another. I've been champion of saving things that uh, need to be removed from landscape and many of the plants that I do have, it was uh, from previous landscape. So anyway, that's what this was, to try to save uh, what uh, should have been discarded. Especially this one here. If it wasn't for my friends and YouTube, I would have never tackled that. But I know you guys like to see something different. And how many plants grow in a wire basket? Anyway, so thanks to you guys, I made this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you know how to do this. Okay, I'll see you again real soon in another chapter. This is the area where the plants were growing. And especially that one with the wire basket, that was like that. And so this area still needs to be better presentation of rocks. Well, when you get a nine and a seven year old helping you, you always don't have a uh, full control. So I'll get this area squared away um, maybe in another couple of weeks. But I just wanted to get those plants planted because this is where it came from and you can't leave it out too long. So anyway, um, this is it.